Hello everyone, Zcore here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video that is long overdue. Uh, a review video of my second favorite sniper rifle, the RBA. Uh, the reason I say the video is overdue is because I was going to make this video back when it got a buff um, some time ago. <laughs> but obviously I didn't get around to doing it. But now that uh, there's an event going on where you can get the gun permanently for free, I thought it might be some players might find it useful to see an actual review uh, video of the gun. So right off the bat, we're going to discuss uh, the fact that the RBA's RPM is much closer to that of the bolt-action snipers than it is to other semi-automatic sniper rifles. For example, the Crazy Horse, which is the closest to the RBA, has more than twice the RPM of the RBA. And there's other semi-autos that have even higher than that. So it wouldn't really make sense to uh, compare the RBA with other semi-automatic sniper rifles. And it's much more closer and feels a lot more like a bolt-action sniper rifle. So for the sake of simplicity and um, usefulness, uh, I'm going to be comparing it to the major and most used uh, bolt-action sniper rifles. Uh, and just a quick note on the gameplay that you're seeing in the background. Uh, it's not actually... In, built into the gun to scope out after every kill or every shot. That's just my playstyle. Since it's semi-auto, af obviously after you shoot with it, it stays scoped in so you can continue shooting. Uh, but now uh, I'm gonna go over the basic stats and then some advanced stats and at the same time I'm gonna be comparing it uh, with other major bolt action sniper rifles like I said. By the way, uh, all the information that you're going to be uh, hearing in this video come from the Warface Compare website. I'll include the link to it in the description so that if any of you guys want to take a closer look at these stats uh, for yourself, uh, you can do so whenever you want to. So to start off, we have the damage which is uh, pretty much like all the other ones at 350. But then we have the main strength of the RPM, uh, of the, sorry, RBA, which is the RPM. So as you can see, it's at 62, it recently got buffed. We're, and the closest one that comes to it is the Miller at only 54 RPM. So that's eight difference, which is actually a lot when it comes to snipers. And what that means is that with, that, with s such a high RPM, it's a really, really great gun to take out multiple targets back to back. Um, then it has a range of 70, which means that if anyone is outside of, is more than 70 meters away from you, the damage drop will apply to your shots at, uh, to be more specific, 2 points per meters, and it can go all the way down to 35 damage uh, per shot. Uh, now this, is in, this isn't such a big deal in my opinion, because most maps in Warface have a mostly close quarter or mid, mid to close quarter areas. And they rarely have like a long line of sights. The only exception is uh, storm maps, usually. They have really long lines of sight. Uh, and on maps like those, uh, it'll be, be pretty, uh, pretty hard to get like one-shot kills uh, at far away range. But like I said, this isn't uh, that big of an issue. Uh, and on this little as this small aspect, the scout and the bushmaster are much better because their damage can only drop down to 285. Uh, then the we move on to the aim and the hip accuracy. The aim accuracy is uh, pretty normal, nothing special, but the hip accuracy is actually pretty low. I can confirm that from my own experience. It's not that reliable from the hip. And then um, we have uh, an amazing clip size at 20 freaking bullets. Y trust me, you'll never need to <laughs> reload with this gun ever. <laughs> uh, unless you're like this super... Unless you're like a super pro who wait, uh, uses all the 20 bullets, you'll never get through all the 20 bullets uh, and during uh, any round or like if FFA during uh, one one life or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so although it's not that um, uh, that important because uh, you won't reload ever, it still is a really significant thing and because it's twice as much as the other ones if if not more compared to the scout it's four times more. You combine these two the RPM and the bullets um, and, the, and the magazine size and you get a freaking beast for uh, getting uh, kill streaks. Uh, and then lastly we have the repair cost which is the same for all these snipers it, it's uh, the full repair the full repair will cost uh, $5,400. Uh, now we're going to move on to some more advanced stats. Um, so the reload is relatively quick compared to the other ones. It's at 2.9 seconds. 
uh, compared to the most of the others is about one second quicker uh, but like I said earlier because of the um, mag size you won't need to reload often so this is in this is in really important and then we have the what's probably the most important of the hidden stats so first of all there's the body multipliers um, it's the same for all of these weapons for the head and the body uh, at 5 and 1 respectively but for the hands and legs um, just like the miller the rba's uh, multiplier is 0.8 so again just like the miller you're gonna, you're a lot more likely to get knockdowns uh, using this gun uh, and you might be able to counter that using uh, because of the high rpm but in some situations or game modes you just might not be able to afford getting as many knockdowns as uh, you do with this weapon uh, then we have the select and deselect speeds uh, they're not that special you can see them there uh, and then finally we have uh, another some might consider deciding factor when choosing a sniper rifle which is the scope adjustment time or the zoom in duration so what this is is basically the when you scope in with a sniper there's a, some an amount of time before the your shots will go exactly where you're aiming uh, so basically this stat determines if you can quick scope with a sniper or not um, for example, the Scout has a very low uh, zoom in duration, as you can see, uh, which makes it very good for quick scoping. But the RBA, not so much. Uh, the the times are pretty high actually compared to these other ones, so it's not a quick scope weapon actually. Um, and so if you're somebody like me who doesn't quick scope to to begin with, this gun will work perfectly fine for you. But if you're somebody who whose play style is to quick scope, I'm, I apologize for that, and uh, then either the gun will not work for you or you will it will take from some time for you to adjust to it. So to sum it all up, uh, the pros of the RBA include the amazing RPM and the amazing magazine size. And when you pair up those two with the standard damage of 350, like I said before, it makes for uh, pretty much the best option to take out multiple targets in a row. Uh, meanwhile, the cons include the slow zoom-in speeds that prevent you from uh, squick scoping quick scoping uh, so they become so the gun might be incompatible with your playstyle or it will, might require some time to adjust to and also there's the low multipliers which make knockdowns a lot more frequent compared to these other alternatives it depending on the situation and the game mode that might be more or less of a problem uh, but it's something to take into account uh, finally my overall take on the gun is that it's the best sniper for casual or some might say relaxed game modes like storm or tdm but it's definitely not the best option for round-based game modes where uh, sometimes, depending on the situation, like I said before, you might not be able to afford the the cons that the gun has. Um, now, I'm not that I'm not a real uh, competitive player, or and I don't play round-based game modes that often. But Turn is some says something along the along the lines of it's not ideal for p dealing with peaks. And what my peasant brain can kind of translate that into is that. Um, when somebody peeks you or when you peek someone it'll be hard to pull off uh, the reaction shots if uh, because of the dura zoom in duration of the gun uh, but also the same when multiple targets push you it, it will be hard to take them out uh, because of this zoom in speed and on top of that if you do manage to land off uh, land the shot and there's a high chance that you'll get a knockdown especially since everyone's using good armor in these types of game modes uh, so even pulling trade-offs is going to be uh, somewhat um, harder with this gun compared to the other alternatives. So yeah, that's it. Uh, just on a small note, um, in case you're worried about getting shit from people because it's a semi-automatic, uh, I haven't, I didn't get many complaints for using it uh, from my experience. You don't get that many. But I don't know, that might change uh, now that everyone is, <laughs> now that everyone seems to be getting it for free. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it for the review of the RBA. Um, I just wanted to, before ending this, apologize to everyone who was interested in the gun. I wanted to know more about it before uh, selecting to get it for free. If you're one of those people and you were searching for a review video or anything and didn't find it, I apologize for this video coming out uh, so late. So yeah, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.